Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the India Agmo TST 2023 problem 6. At first, let's have a look on the picture. We have given an isosceles triangle A, B and C. At first, we choose a point P on the side AC such that the angle CBP is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha, where alpha is equal to the angle BAC. Now, we choose the point Q on the side AD such that BQ is equal to AP and we choose the point R on the side BC such that QR is equal to PR. If O1 is the circumcenter of APQ and O2 is the circumcenter of PRC, our task is to prove that O1, O2 has the same length as VR. The first thing I want to mention here is that from the angle condition that CBP is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha, we directly get that the point O, which is the circumcenter of triangle ABC, must lie on this line BP. We want to use the condition that AP is equal to BQ. And every time when we have two segments with equal lengths, it's a good idea to search for congruent triangles. And in this case, the point O is really nice because it tells us that AO is equal to OB. So let's draw in the line AO and have a look what we can get then. It can be seen that the triangles OPA and OQE are indeed congruent and this can be now easily proven because the last thing we need to be equal is this angle here and this is indeed true because since ABC is isosceles we know that this angle and this angle are both equal to alpha divided by 2 and this red angle here is also equal to this red angle here. We note this down, so angle OAP is equal to angle OBQ and conclude that OPA and OBQ are congruent. This directly implies that the third segment of these two triangles, which is OP and OQ is also equal, so we get that OP is equal to OQ. And since these two angles here are also equal, we conclude that O lies on the circumcircle of AQP. Moreover, O lies on the perpendicular bisector of P and Q, and since R also lies on this perpendicular bisector, we get that the angle ROP must be equal to the angle QOP divided by 2. Note that this angle QOP, this one here, is an oriented angle and therefore we can get that this is equal to 360 degrees minus now the other angle POQ, so minus angle POQ divided by 2. Since O lies on the circumcircle of triangle AQP, we know that this is equal to 360 degrees minus 180 degrees minus alpha all over 2 and this is equal to 90 degrees plus alpha divided by 2. We can also calculate the angle PCR because since ABC is isosceles we get that angle PCR is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha divided by 2 and therefore, in total, since these two angles here sum up to 180 degrees, we can conclude that O also lies on the circumcircle of RCP. If we take a look at this picture, we see that since O lies on both of these two circles, we directly get by the Cass theorem that O also lies on the circle going through BRQ. So let's write this down that O is also on the circle B, R, Q and let's draw in the circle into the picture. This circle helps us doing our next angle chase. Namely, we can now calculate the angle B, Q, R because the angle B, Q, R is nothing but the angle B, O, R. So this is equal to angle B, O, R. Now B, O, R is equal to 180 degrees minus R, O, P. So this is equal 180 degrees minus angle ROP 
And now we use this circle here to get that 180 degrees minus ROP is nothing but angle PCR. So this is equal to angle PCR. For the angle PCR, we also have other opportunities to write this angle down. Namely, at first, angle PCR is also equal to angle CDA, since ABC is isosceles, and this is also equal to 90 degrees minus alpha divided by 2. From this angle condition here, we get two new properties in our picture. The first one is that this angle here is equal to 90 degrees, since the red angle here is equal to alpha divided by 2. Our second property is that angle RBQ equals BQR, and therefore the triangle RBQ is isosceles, and we get that BR is equal to RQ, and we already know that RQ is also equal to RP. Now we are ready to take an actual look at the statement we want to prove, because this equation here is equivalent to the fact that O1, O2 is equal to QR. And here I want to note that since PO is the radical axis of these two circles, the line O1, O2 must be perpendicular to the line PO. And therefore, since QR is also perpendicular to PO, we get that O1, O2 is parallel to QR. And thus, in order to prove that these two lengths here are equal, it's enough to prove that O1, Q, R, O2 is a parallelogram. From here, we need no more clever ideas and just have to do an angle chase. And in order to prove that O2, R is parallel to O1, Q, we want to calculate the sum of the angles O2, R, Q and R, Q, O1 and make sure that this is equal to 180 degrees. So let's calculate the sum of these two angles, O2, R, Q, plus angle R, Q, O1. And the first thing we want to do is split these two angles up. Namely, this is equal to angle O2, R, O, plus angle O, R, Q. And the second angle is equal to angle R, Q, O, plus angle O, Q, O1. Since O2 is the circumcenter of C, R, O, we know that this angle here, O2, R, O, is nothing but 90 degrees minus O, C, R. So we can write this as 90 degrees minus angle O, C, R. For the sum of these two angles here, we have a look at the triangle O, Q, R, because we see that O, R, Q and R, Q, O are two of the three angles in this triangle, and therefore we get that the sum here is equal to 180 degrees minus the last angle, which is angle Q, O, R. Lastly, for the angle O, Q, O1, we can use that O1 is the circumcenter of A, O, Q, and therefore this angle here is equal to 90 degrees minus this red angle here, which is alpha divided by 2. We know that angle O, C, R is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha, and therefore this is equal to alpha. Then for 180 degrees minus the angle Q, O, R, we know that this is equal to the angle R, B, Q. So we have a plus 90 degrees minus alpha divided by 2, and this is just 90 degrees minus alpha divided by 2, and in total we get indeed 180 degrees, and therefore we're done.